Today's top news stories, California facing its largest deficit in history of $68 billion. Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom is being floated as a replacement for Joe Biden, potentially, 2024 election. It makes sense. Things this bad. This is the guy for the job, right? With an economy that's the fifth largest in the world. It has been struggling since last year because of the rising cost of goods. And Newsom now must have some sort of action plan in order to recoup this deficit. With a state that's already struggling and people are leaving in droves, now they're going to add more taxes to make up $68 billion of loss. It's very frightening what's going on out there. And this is the guy they want to be the face of the Democratic Party. If he's doing this in California, what's he going to do the rest of the country? We already have a preview. Have you, have you seen the last four years? <laughs> anyway, next on the list, this past week, we saw another mass shooting at the UNLV campus. Three people were killed and one was injured, and the shooter, Anthony Polito, was taken out by police officers. He was described as an eccentric professor who was obsessed with Las Vegas. I'm not sure what the answer is to this, people, but it's not get rid of guns. We have a mental health crisis in this country, and that's what we have to focus in on. In sports news today, the Angelos family, owners of the Orioles, are apparently in talks to sell the team to billionaire Baltimore native David Rubenstein. Not sure if this will happen, but interesting. I love it when I see teams transferring and who's got vision for the future. What can they do with the Orioles? Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of that. Last story of the day. Kamala Harris does something that no vice president has done in nearly 200 years. Harris broke a nearly 200-year-old record by casting the most tie-breaking votes in the Senate. I'm not sure that's a good thing to brag about. When people don't get along on something, you're just forcing it through. And we wonder why things are so messed up right now. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of all the news of the day. And if you enjoy this, let me know. Should I keep going every day? Should we do one of these in long format? I'll see you later. Leave a comment and share.